हेलो स्टूडेंट्स द प्रॉब्लम इज फाइंड जेड इनवर्स ऑफ फाइव जेड डिवाइडेड बाय टू माइनस जेड इंटू थ्री जेड माइनस वन सोल्यूशन सो द गिवन विल कंसिडर एज वॉट यूर यू डैश ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल टू फाइव जेड डिवाइडेड बाय टू माइनस जेड इंटू थ्री जेड माइनस वन so given thing we have consider u dash of z so once we have consider now what we'll do here we'll cross multiply this only z to the left hand side so which can be written as what here u dash of z divided by z is equal to here left phi so phi divided by 2 minus z into 3 z minus 1 so once we got this simplification now we'll simplify for the right hand side by using partial fraction let phi divided by 2 minus z into 3z minus 1 can be written as a divided by 2 minus z plus b divided by 3z minus 1 so on taking lcm and simplification Uh, on taking lcm and on simplification it will become phi is equal to a into 3z minus 1 plus b into 2 minus z so this equation we are going to form on simplification of above situation so once we got this so we can easily find the value of a and b so that those values we can apply in the above situation and we can get the inverse z transform of the given function so therefore so we will simplify so how to make a uh, a0 so here uh, z uh, 3z is there so z you have to make such a way that so on subtraction of these two value it should become 0 0 into a will become 0 so therefore what i will do here so put put z is equal to 1 by 3 in this above expression put z is equal to 1 by 3 so what happens we'll see so phi is equal to a into 3 into 1 by 3 minus 1 plus b into 2 minus 1 by 3 wherever z is there you put 1 by 3 so that so what we'll get here we'll see so therefore phi is equal to this 3 3 cancel 1 left 1 minus 1 is 0 0 into a is 0 plus b into here you need to take the lcm So LCM is three, so three two is a six minus one. So therefore, it will be phi is equal to six minus one is phi phi upon three. So phi b upon three. So this phi phi cancels. So b is equal to three. So the value of b we got how much here three. So similarly to get the value of uh, a, so uh, now we have made uh, by putting z is equal to one by three. we got a becomes 0 and by putting z is equal to 2 uh, we can make b 0 so put put b uh, sorry z is equal to 2 put z is equal to 2 in the above expression so therefore it will become phi is equal to a into so z is equal to 2 so 2 3 is a 6 minus 1 plus b into 2 minus 2 so therefore phi is equal to 6 minus 1 is 5 so phi a plus here 2 minus 2 is 0 so therefore so the value of a will be 1 because this phi phi cancels so therefore a is equal to 1 so using this a value and the b value will apply here in this expression so therefore therefore Phi divided by two minus z into three z minus one is equal to a value is how much here one so one divided by two minus z and the value of b is three here so it will become three divided by three z minus one but so phi upon two minus z into three z minus one is nothing but u dash uh, z of z so therefore 
therefore u dash of z divided by z is equal to 1 divided by 2 minus z plus 3 divided by 3z minus 1. So for this before applying we need to first uh, simplify. So you cross multiply this z to the right hand side. It will become u dash of z is equal to z divided by 2 minus z plus if you z multiply it will become 3z divided by 3z minus 1. Now, so once we multiplied this z uh, 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 on our right hand side, but the denominator it is not in a, in a proper form. So to apply the z trans uh, inverse uh, for this. So what I will do here, I will take minus common. So z divided by, among this if I take minus common, so it will become z minus 2 plus 3z as it is. So here also always coefficient of z supposed to be 1 as per the list of the formula. You can if you observe all the uh, list of the formulas I will show you once again here so you can see here coefficient of z is 1 coefficient of z is 1 coefficient of z is what here 1 coefficient of z is 1 if you see all the formulas of inverse so or z transform anything so coefficient of z is what here 1 only so to make coefficient of z 1 so what shall we do here we'll take 3 common among the denominator in the second term so if you take 3 common it will become z minus 1 upon 3 so while applying this 3, 3 cancels. So therefore what we get, got here. So this minus will I will take up. So minus z divided by z minus 2 plus z divided by z minus 1 upon 3. So u dash of z. So take uh, uh, inverse uh, z transform on both the side. That is z inverse of u dash of z is equal to minus you keep outside z inverse of z divided by z minus 2 plus z inverse of z divided by z minus 1 upon 3. So once we got this, so we, we can apply our standard formula so that uh, we know that the formula is what here z inverse of z divided by z minus k can be written as what here k raised to n. So both the terms is of the same form of the standard result here. So left hand side it will become un is equal to minus as it is. So z inverse of z divided by z minus 2 will become 2 raised to n. This minus I have taken as it is plus sign. So z inverse of z divided by z minus uh, 1 by 3. So value of k is 1 by 3 it will become 1 by 3 raised to n. So this is what here a required solution of the given function in terms of z. So in this way we need to simplify the inverse z transform uh, by taking the help of what here partial fraction.